How much control do we actually have over transforming our health system? We can often feel like there is no way out, that we're stuck, that only the politicians and the administrators and the wealthy people that are profiting off our health system have control. There's a quote, I think it's actually a prayer called the Serenity Prayer that gives me uh, a lot of perspective and I'd like to share that with you. I'm an emergency physician and I'm on a journey to understand and transform our health system. Uh, the serenity prayer says, uh, one version says, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, courage to change the things that I can, and wisdom to know the difference. So for me, it's been helpful to just, uh, instead of getting really angry, although I think there's a role for anger, uh, or getting really frustrated, I think it's helpful for me to think, what can I control? And so I am an emergency physician. I have a lot of privilege in a lot of ways. And uh, a few of the things that I can control are, number one, the degree to which I am a knowledgeable and skillful and competent physician. So I think that's first and foremost, if I'm going to care for patients, uh, I need to be at a high level of competence. And I take that very seriously. I think another thing that I can control is being present and uh, actively listening to my patients and empathetic. So trying to consider their perspective, and the journey that they're on. I think another choice that I have, uh, as I think about transforming our health systems, there's a number of other different uh, avenues that I, could, uh, that I could go into. And at some point, I'll share a video that, that goes more, more into detail in this. But I could perform research and publish academic papers that help to give us more data and knowledge around the problems and issues and way forward with our health system. I could become involved politically with either a political party or a political candidate. I could choose not to become overly tribal when I am involved in uh, politics. I could be involved in social media like this and share a message with others. Um, I can choose to learn more about the issues surrounding health and health care. I can choose to write a book that inspires others or hopefully inspires others. Uh, so those are some of the things that come to mind that I can choose to do. I'm sharing this only uh, to give you ideas and, and to hopefully uh, land with the idea that we, we can all, there are some things that we can all control. And if we can all do 10% more or something like that, I think that we could reach a critical mass and a tipping point for transformation of our health system. Let me consider uh, a wealthy CEO of a hospital corporation. So this person... Uh, has worked hard within the current system, the current flawed system that's uh, based on profit to a large degree. Uh, he or she could obviously donate a large number, uh, a large amount of money to a certain cause that would help transform the health system. She could uh, open the door and create safe spaces for hundreds, thousands of people within her corporation to share and implement transformational ideas. She could uh, connect with other hospital CEOs in the state or in the city to create alliances and collaborations that could result in transformational change around the way that we deliver and pay for health care. We might consider an inner city single mother who's, who's busy every day just trying to provide uh, food and, and shelter for her children. Uh, she could connect with her neighbors and consider ways that their children could live more healthy lives, whether it be with their diet or exercise or screen use or other, um, other behaviors. Uh, she could be involved in social media and following and supporting um, people that are speaking out about uh, injustices or inequities or inefficiencies in our health system. We might also even consider someone who is experiencing dis disability. So maybe someone who can't use his legs, um, but can use a computer and writes or blogs or mobilizes or advocates around health systems transformation. And then fi finally, a politician who uh, might have the courage to implement policies that can result in long term focus on health and well being as opposed to short-term gains or uh, changes that would 
result in advantages for lobbyists or uh, re-election, but not necessarily a health system that makes sense. I'd love your thoughts about uh, this idea that we all have, at least most of us have things that we can control and change, and that if enough of us change our lives in ways uh, that, that we can still have well-being and balance in our lives, that we can transform our health system. One final note that I want to emphasize is that those of us that are more privileged, I think have more responsibility uh, to implement change. Thanks. I'd love to know your